everybody, it's Tim again, and thank you for joining me for another Cool Movie Toys video. Or is it a Cool Monster Movie Toys video? Monster Movie Toys and Collectibles. I guess maybe the latter in this case. This is a NECA head knocker of Frankenstein's monster uh, from Frankenstein. Although, by the looks of it, it almost looks like uh, this is Boris Karloff's appearance in The Bride of Frankenstein, where the monster gets a little bit... A little bit more, or a lot more beat up at the beginning of the film. And uh, he uh, doesn't look quite nearly as, as uh, beat up in the uh, figures you can see in the background. So it doesn't matter. Either way, we have another new Frankenstein collectible from NECA. I mean, top-notch stuff all around when you're talking about monster movie stuff from NECA. In fact, just yesterday, I reviewed uh, The Creature from the Black Lagoon. Uh, ultimate figure, a seven inch scale figure, which is actually over eight inches tall from NECA. And these guys are just simply knocking it out of the park when it comes to crafting these collectibles. I just love it. I'm so excited that so much of this is coming out. In addition to, you know, Frankenstein's monster, we have the Bride of Frankenstein head knocker coming along with uh, Bela Lugosi's Dracula. And I do believe Lon Chaney Jr.'s Wolfman is part of this series, and of course, Boris Karloff is uh, Frankenstein, Elsa Lanchester, the bride of Frankenstein, and, and the likeness that they're getting with these collectibles, with these toys, with these action figures, everything is just incredible. So I can't wait to unbox this figure. Uh, big thanks to NECA for providing this sample to me, and I'll be right back with the unboxed Frankenstein head knocker from NECA. And I'm back with uh, the unboxing and review of the Frankenstein's Monster Head Knocker from NECA. And again, thank you to NECA for providing this sample to me. I have to tell you, out of the box, I'm even more impressed than what I saw with the picture on the box. You know, when you have these boxes without the windows, you know, you, it's always anybody's guess how they're actually going to look. And... Uh, it's rare that they come out of the box looking actually better than they do in the box, but this this looks great, and this looks great. This looks even better. I mean, seeing something in the flesh or in the polystone or whatever sort of material they use, I tell you, it's really impressive. Let's give this a 360 look right away. And uh, obviously, it doesn't take a lot to knock the head. And this material feels a little bit different, but it is the same as... The rest of the piece. Now, what I love about these uh, head knocker pieces, at least the ones that I've seen, and let me get that little styrofoam off of there, is that you're getting some details, some little accessories maybe that you normally wouldn't get with uh, with with a figure. And, and I mean, and all of NECA's their 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 figures come with accessories don't get me wrong extra portraits extra hands you know torches whatever but i'm talking about these little accessory these coils the sort of things that you'd see in frankenstein's laboratory these lights i mean that to me is really really cool now you can see in the background that neca they released frankenstein's uh the the lab table Okay, and actually that came with a bandage head of Frankenstein. That was a really cool accessory. Now, they are actually going to be coming out with a chair that the Frankenstein's monster from The Bride of Frankenstein is actually sitting in and he's chained to. And I have to say, just by the looks of that figure and this here, this almost looks like it's almost based on the Frankenstein's monster from The Bride of Frankenstein. Now, I just, I could be wrong, but I mean, his face is, is pretty beat up here. He, he, you could probably see it, though, in, in the actual uh, figure itself. I'm going to turn this off and bring this a little bit closer you can, so you can see what I'm talking about as far as the details are concerned. There we go. Maybe it's the same. Maybe it seems like the uh, the top of his head feels seems a little bit higher, which is sort of the look I remember from the Bride of Frankenstein. Now let's bring this in here, this figure, and look. You know, maybe you know ha from having a lower hairline. I guess there is a lot of similarities if you look at the face, and you can see that sort of 
scarring along the face down there. And obviously Frankenstein is known, Frankenstein's monster is known for this gash in his forehead as well. So, you know, this is just another great addition to their Universal Monsters releases that they've been doing. You know, obviously uh, in the in the past year or so, they really, you know, have been going great guns on this sort of stuff. The head knockers, I think, actually, NECA started releasing head knockers uh, about the same time as their figures. I mean, these things have been around since the very beginning with the company. So they clearly know what they're doing when it comes to making and marketing these figures. So, you know, when you look at it in the package, you think, well, the neck, maybe the elongated neck, that's just necessary. I mean, it wouldn't be a bobblehead otherwise. You'd get a lot of clank in here with the head hitting the shoulders and everything. You know, these things are, are meant to sit on people's desks at work and stuff. Um, and, and certainly will be sitting on mine as well. <laughs> so, yeah, I, I, I just love it. I love any thi anything Universal Monsters sanctioned. You know, we get a lot of monster toys from companies that, you know, they might get it sanctioned by Universal, but obviously this has got the Karloff look too. So I would imagine there has to be some sort of cooperation from the Karloff estate as well, as well as there was for this one. But, uh, you know, obviously this is a shorter review than what I normally give you, but, you know, there's obviously no heads to swap out. There's no extra hands. But again, from what I see, I just love. I'm only hoping that after this Bride of Frankenstein accessory set, what they do is they come out with accessories somehow that the sort of stuff that you'd see in the lab, you know, the coils and all that, those, the, the, those doodads that they have in the back, all those uh, gadgets, etc. That would be really cool. I want an entire Frankenstein's lab. I know I not only want Frankenstein's monster, and we've we've gotten them, you know, in in a couple different iterations with the black and white version that you can see in the background, and the color version, and the color version here. Uh, but uh, obviously, they're taking things a bit further with the accessory sets as well. So, and that's all I have for this review. Um, you can get this at brick and mortar already. I've seen them. You can get them at Target stores. Obviously, you can order them online. Right now, they're running in about the $29.99 range or so. And of course, if you get them online, you can get them free shipping some places or minimal shipping others. And again, if you're a big Universal Monsters collector like me, this is just another must-have when it comes to adding something to your Frankenstein's monster collection. Again, thank you to NECA for sending this to me to unbox and show you. And I'm certain to do uh, more reviews of Head Knockers, Universal Monsters wise, when they come out, as well as some more Universal Monsters figures uh, from NECA, the 7 inch scale, as they are released as well. That's all I have for this video. Please like this video. Please subscribe to this video. I'm Tim Lammers, and I review cool movie toys and cool movie toy collectibles. I specialize in monsters, but I have other things too. So please come to this channel as often as you can and tell all your monster loving friends, especially about these universal monsters themed reviews. Happy toy hunting, everybody.